Well, hello, you guys. Um, I'm really excited to do this mukbang or share this meal with you because today I'm going to be trying some weird stuff. And what I wanted to try is if you guys are familiar with Publix, you know that they're really, really known for their pub subs. But today I wanted to do something different and the entitled of this is Curious Eating. So I decided to get a meatless turkey club hot. Meatless. It has vegan turkey, vegan bacon, and vegan cheese. And I don't know how it's going to taste, but we'll see if it's good. I'll give you my honest review of this. Um, I'm really excited because they take a lot of care in making the perfect sub. I think honestly it's the bread that makes the pub super good and oh, it smells really good. It smells good. But I don't know if you guys can see it, but what I did is I loaded it up with all the good veggies. I loaded it up with um, tomatoes, hot peppers, look at that, tomatoes, hot peppers cucumbers to give it a nice crunch and lettuce. I did a little bit of oil and vinegar and a little bit of vegan mayonnaise. So I don't know, it looks kind of gross. The meat is, it's turkey, but it's like really on the gray tint. When, when she loaded it on there, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. But anyway, here's what it looks like. All right, so wish me luck. Let's see. Here we go. Big butt. Mm. I am um, put jalapenos on it. Honestly, the only thing that I'm tasting right now are the freaking super hot jalapenos. These are so hot, but it's good. Let's do another one. I'm looking for a napkin. I didn't bring one. I'm not gonna lie, this is really good. Again, the only thing that I'm really tasting is the hot of the jalapeno, but the bread, oh my God, the bread is so good, crispy, crunchy. I got the multi-grain. I honestly think it's the bread that makes this so good. I don't even miss the meat. Look at all that, look at all that meat in there. Oh my God, it's so good. I gotta have another bite. so good I would get this again again I think it's the condiment of the vegan mayo I also got a little oil and vinegar in it but the onions um, the spinach to give it that extra crunch the tomato which obviously is fresh but again, it's vegan cheese, which, I mean, I don't know what it's made out of. And the vegan turkey and the vegan bacon. And I did get it toasted, so I think that makes the big difference. Let's try again. Mm. Really good. 
really good. So good. The other thing that I got, since this is curious eating, um, I feel like I am a connoisseur of potato chips and you can hear the crunchling. I decided to try some new chips. I love the marketing on these chips. Uh, sriracha honey, which is a really good flavor. Artfully crafted, partially peeled, thick cut kettle strips for the perfect crunch. All right. Let me be the judge of the perfect crunch. Smells good. You get a pretty big bag of chips. You know, there's a lot of air when they package these chips. They it makes you think you're getting more, but you know, if you take the air out, you pretty much get half a bag. Again, typical things in your potato chips, nothing scary, although there's a couple of chemicals that I'm really not sure what it is. Let's see what this is, if it's the perfect crutch. Here we go. I have to have another one. The crunch was good, but I, I don't like it as well as I like kettle chips. Those are the best. These are a little bit crispier than Lay's. Definitely not as crispy as kettle chips, which are the best. Let me try it again. I don't know. I don't really like these. I'm not a fan. These are dirty potato chips. Let me taste the mesquite barbecue to see if there's a difference between sriracha honey and mesquite barbecue. But before I do that, I'm going to clear my palate and I bought this Spindrift Sparkling Water, a real squeezed fruit. Oh, and a real squeezed fruit. But they don't tell you what fruit is in there. This is real fruit. And all it says is carbonated water and lemon juice, no sugar added. But again, sparkling water and real squeezed fruit. That's it, let's see. And it doesn't even say, it says it's lemon, obviously taste it. It almost tastes like Sprite, but they say there's no um, sugar in it. It's basically just lemon juice. Very refreshing. Okay, so let's dig into this mesquite barbecue. Again, the topic of this is curious food. This isn't very curious. I just kind of wanted to do a taste test of potato chips. Um, let's see if this, it's the same brand, so I'm not expecting it to be any other different crunch than the other one. Looks pretty much the same. flavor. Definitely different, obviously. It's a different flavor. Definitely a barbecue, but again, as far as flavor, not that good. Not my favorite chip. I mean, I'm not even going to finish that bag. It's not even worth the calories to eat that chip. If I'm going to eat chips, I want to have really good chips. i chase it down with some lemon juice. But I am going to go dig back into this sandwich because it's good. Did you hear what I just said? Sandwich. That's interesting. 
So, do you say sandwich or sandwich? I can't believe I just said sandwich because there's no M in that word, but I said sandwich. Oh well, how do you say it? Let me know. All right, let's go have a little bite of the sandwich. I should have put my hair up because there's nothing more irritating than getting hair in your mouth when you're eating. But I don't really like to put my hair up. But I think I just got a piece of hair. Okay, that last bite, I did get a, I got a taste of the vegan meat. Definitely a taste that I've never tasted before. Um, not horrible. It's just different, okay? And you can see, I'm really right into that meat. It's it's the color that's weird. I think if it wasn't a gray-brown color, it might be a little more appetizing, but let me dig in again. It's really juicy on the bottom. And then it's the bread. Oh my gosh, the bread. That makes it so good. The bread is so good. I'm going in. Kind of a dreary day out today. I said it again, dreary, dreary. It's a dreary day. It's a what is that word? <laughs> dreary. I don't know. Weird words, right? The English language has weird words. God, I wish I had a napkin. I can't believe that I didn't get a napkin. I don't want to like wipe my face with my hands because I have a bunch of gook on it. And again, here is in my eyes. <sighs> I'm gonna eat some more of this though. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I don't taste the vegan cheese, which I'm looking on here to see where is the cheese. I watched her put it on there, but I'm not really tasting it. Would I order this again? Probably. It's the bread. It makes it really good. There's a big old tomato piece. Got a bite of pepper. Hot pepper is really good. I don't know why, again, I could make a, buy all the ingredients and make my own sandwich and it wouldn't taste as good. It, I think it's always this thing, this psychological thing that when somebody else cooks and makes food for you, it always tastes better. Okay, the pepper is starting to kick in. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this in here. It's really hot. Oh, I think I'm gonna take it off, because you know, if you eat too many peppers, what happens? And I don't really wanna have indigestion. Okay, here is a piece of the vegan bacon. I'm just gonna taste it.
doesn't really have any taste. The consistency is weird. No. I gotta wash that down with some water. Let me try the vegan turkey. I want you to see the color of it. You see the color of it? It's like gray. Yeah, you know, eating that separate is kind of gross, but when you put it together in this, it's yummy. So I'm gonna eat it all together. Here we go, a couple last bites. I put the I put the peppers on it. Mm. Really right like them. I'm gonna do because I like the crunch. I'm gonna put this on top of that and see what happens. That was good. That was really good. Well, again, no napkins. Kind of made a mess of everything, but it was really good. I'd have to say that Pub Sub, again, vegan, turkey, vegan bacon, vegan cheese, vegan mayo, oil and vinegar was, I would give it like a 10 out of 10. I'm not vegan, but if you have to go vegan, it's not disgusting. Just don't look at it before you eat it. See you later. Till the next time.